Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the theater. What is happening to my voice? I don't know. It is Tuesday. It's going to be a quick day, hopefully, today. And then I can probably go sleep at some point because despite my best efforts, I didn't get to sleep till like 2 o'clock last night. Crap. Anyway, maybe did I watch Descendants 2 last night? That could have been part of it. CGI was a bit better, so that's a win. But yeah, so didn't get a ton of sleep. Would love to have a nap today. I think the plan will be when I get off work, we gotta go pick up some groceries because my mom's boyfriend's daughter is coming and so we need to make sure we have enough food and I need more allergy medicine because I nearly died last night. I'm being over dramatic. I did not nearly die, but it was not a pleasant experience. And then probably me napping. That's, that's what I'm leaning towards. We'll see if it happens. I do, however, still want to get a lot of editing done today, so I don't know. Anyway, uh, I don't know what's happening with my voice. Hopefully I'm not getting sick or something from this lack of sleep and bad on me. I should drink a lot of orange juice today. And yeah, I'm gonna go get started here, have my breakfast drink, and then just, my hands are really soft. And then, um, get going. Did I just say that? Oh dear. Anyways, the sooner I get started, the sooner I can leave, so I'm gonna go get started. Okay, so it is currently 1.30. Uh, I got off work at about quarter after noon. Quarter after noon, quarter after 12. I guess it worked either way. Um, and we've just been running errands. We went to the store, picked up some stuff for dinner tonight. Spaghetti, right? Spaghetti's a good comfort food. Um, so, that has happened. We're going to go, I think, to the drugstore to shoppers because there's a palette there that I'm interested in purchasing for someone as a gift. Also, I need to get allergy medicine so we don't have a situation like last night where I nearly died. I mean, I didn't nearly die. My breathing wasn't bad at all. It was just dying in the sense of everything was running and itchy. Yeah, so I think that's about it. Um, we're in the truck today because my mom's boyfriend had to go down island to pick up his daughter and it's just a lot easier for him to travel in the SUV. So this is where we are and yeah, just, just chilling, just chilling. I don't know what else to say, um, <laughs> but I'm trying to be better at vlogging while out in public and yes, I'm still in a vehicle but it's in public. Oh, oh, there's outside, right there. Oh, I have problems. I'm gonna go now. I washed my hair last night, but then I put it up, and so now it's just, it's just very special. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I am home now. I stopped at the grocery store. Nope, it was the drugstore to get um, the palette, like I mentioned, and it was way cheaper than I thought it was. Like when I saw it listed, it was like double the price. And so I got two. So I got the, I, I've never tried this brand. It's the Milani Gilded Noir um, palette right here. It looks like there's some fun colors. So I got one for myself and I got one for a gift. And I've heard pretty decent things about Milani. What is wrong with my voice? Um, so I kind of want to give it a try. Like when I initially saw it, I was like, maybe I'll get this for me. And then I was like, well, maybe it'd be a good gift. It feels, it's, it's texturized on the front. So that's what the front looks like. Whoa. It comes with a mirror and then look at, like, look at, look at that blue. Can I, can I swatch things? Can I be a booty guru? Oh, oh, well, it's not super pigmented, but like, it's nice. That one was called Gasp, and I get it. This one is called Posh. Oh, it looks like it's almost like a duochrome. <laughs> Me pretending I know what I'm talking about. You see? Ooh, lighter, darker. Um, ooh, this one's called No Pictures. Ooh, that one's pretty. Look at it. We're gonna... <laughs> And then we're gonna go with this really pretty. Oh. oh, it's so cold. You can't, it's not like the lighting here is not the greatest for this. These are really pretty and really nice. That one was called 
Rococo. What do you do once you have it on your hands? Anyways. Well, it doesn't rub off easily. I'm gonna do my makeup because I want to play with these. They're so pretty. Yeah, so let's see. Can we... So it's bubbly entitled Rococo After Party. And then Don't Ask Solid Gold Twist It Gilded Noir. Nope. No, wait. Why not? Gasp. Posh. No pictures. And then Dripping Lust Fuzzy and Dark Side. Anyways, I'm a booty guru. I'm a booty guru. I'm not. Looks like a nice mirror too. Anyways, I'm gonna go do my makeup, I think. First I'm gonna see, because we're gonna do spaghetti for dinner, which I think I mentioned earlier. I'm pretty sure I did. And I'm just gonna cook it and put it in the crock pot so it'll be ready whenever everybody shows up. So I'm gonna go cook that now. And um, first wash my hands. This is, this gold is gorgeous. We'll see how pigmented it is, like actually on face, but I'm very excited about that. I almost want to go back and get like another palette for a gift for somebody else. Anyways, I'm going to go now and I will check in with you in a little bit. Alrighty, so spaghetti meat is made and ready to go. I didn't have any oregano. This is like oregano. So <laughs> I just said the exact same word just with a different emphasis. <laughs> What is wrong with me? I don't know. Anyways, and I tried out the new eyeshadow palette. Anyway, I am just chilling here like I did my makeup. It's not a super pigmented palette. Like, there's not a lot of payoff. <laughs> like, I know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's alright. It's not bad. I decided to go a little more neutral. I went with the reds, but part of me really wanted to go with the greens, but I didn't. Anyways, I'm just chilling now. I feel like today's not going to be a very productive day, if I am being honest, because it is already 4.30, and um, this is where we're at. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I can settle down here in a couple and actually start editing, but there's uncertainty because we don't know when people are going to show up home for dinner and stuff, so... Yeah, there's a little bit of uncertainty right now with what what's going on, so it, I find it harder to get into things in that case. But we're going to see what we can do. Today, I don't have much on the list other than blog and edit, so that's at least good. And I'm off tomorrow, which is nice because I fell asleep way too late um, the last night. I mean, technically it was this morning because it was probably close to two. Anyway... I'm gonna go now and I'm just gonna finish watching this YouTube video and then I promise I'm going to try to get something done. I'm afraid to look at the next chapter. I'm not sure if this is the chapter that I need to add to or if I have one for a buffer, but I feel like this is the one that I need to bulk out the majority of it. Mm -hmm. Yay! I feel very vampy wearing black with this makeup on. Anyway, it is 8 o'clock now. My mom's boyfriend and his daughter should be here soon uh because they text us like i don't know a while ago and said they were coming home what is going on uh dinner is mostly ready i don't know the spaghetti tastes weird i don't know if it was the meat or the sauce i don't know it just doesn't taste as good as usual but that is fine i look like i'm balding if i do this anyway <laughs> i have problems we know this uh i just finished editing yesterday's vlog and it's exporting now so that is nice my room is still a disaster we had to run out briefly uh, to run an errand and to go to the store. And I think there's a good chance I won't get anything done for the rest of the day because there will be socializing, but you never know. I'm hoping to at least get a couple thousand words edited just so I don't have a zero day, but we'll see what happens. Other than editing though and, you know, making my bed and I just, it's cold, so I just have so many sweatshirts that I keep pulling out. Other than like cleaning and that kind of stuff, I mean, Whatever, it's fine. It would be nice if I got a couple chapters done, but silly be. Sometimes you just can't help what happens. Anyway, uh, I'm going to just go finish getting dinner ready. That was, no, that was harder to say than it should have been. I'm going to sneeze, perhaps. 
light. Look at the light. But I'm gonna go put on the spaghetti noodles and turn on the oven for the garlic bread because you can't have spaghetti without garlic bread. Well, you can, but it's not nearly as good. Garlic bread. I love garlic bread. Anyway, I'm suddenly snuffly and I don't like that, especially because yesterday I had a really bad allergy attack around this time. Um, oh, I meant to buy Kleenex at the store. Ah, but I did get allergy medicine earlier today, so at least I have that at my disposal if I'm having struggles. So I'm going to go now, blow my toes, see if that helps, and then progress from there. I'm really hungry, so I hope they get here soon. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors. Oh shoot, it is 20 after 12. Um, so my plan had been to just kind of go over what I had in that chapter and then on the next edit when I went through to just like go through everything and add it then but I actually ended up writing the whole chapter which was me adding about 2,000 words uh, some of those words actually I pulled from the original first draft of this story where everything progressed so much quicker it was not a series actually it might have been a trilogy no I think it was just one book but it had no real traction but it was about 52 pages of no real direction so i was able to pull a couple pages from that and just kind of make it make it work for me i like i don't want to hold i don't want to hold this but there's also no real safe place to put it anyway so the chapter which started out like 700 words is now like 2600 words and that is awesome i know exactly where i'm going for the next chapter which is even more awesome and um yeah i think we're good the only struggle that i had with this chapter was chapters 13 14 15 or wherever it is where i need to add those chapters in content from that is kind of important in this chapter but i think i fudged it enough that i won't have to make too many changes later it's nothing like super important it's just kind of minor details it's fine. So I'm actually pretty happy with the progress today. It was nowhere near the 5,000 words I was hoping for, but because I had to write, I think it was just as valuable. Tomorrow, I'll probably try, maybe I'll try to write this next chapter. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty good at the moment. We'll see. Uh, but then, like I was saying earlier, I think it's a straight shot to the end. Was I mentioning that here on my blog? I don't even know. Link down below. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think once I get through this little area, it's just a straight shot through to the end based on my notes, I think. So that is awesome. Obviously, there will be some editing to do, but I don't think it's going to be too bad, so that's great. Anyways, like I said, it is 20 after 12. I see that I spelled a word wrong here, so I have to fix it because it's all caps. So that's why it didn't get the word, the word, word, word spell check. Oh my god. That's what I do. Anytime I'm not sure of something, and just write it in all caps so I can't miss it the next time I go through. Anyway, so that's why I missed it. I am rambling. I am really tired, I think. I think what I'm going to do now is just update my goal board so I know where I'm sitting at. I didn't even update it after yesterday. And then get ready for bed because I'm going to wash all this stuff off. And then hopefully I'll be in bed by about 1 o'clock, which is still later than I've been hoping for. And also considering I only got like 5 hours of sleep, it's pretty impressive. But I really wish I had found somewhere to put this. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say, put this in this other hand, thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure, and I'll see you tomorrow. We do very similar things. Good night.